Yuktara, a revolutionary geospatial technology platform developed by the Indian Space Research Organization in collaboration with the Ministry of Rural Development. Yuktara is a geospatial planning portal meant for facilitating Grand Panchayat level planning of MG Narega activities across India. One of the key features of Yuktara is its ability to identify potential areas for Narega projects based on satellite imagery and geospatial analysis. Yuktara web portal has the two levels of authorization that is MSE at Panchayat level, to creating plans in Panchayats and able to view the related data, gas at block level, to view and verify the plans uploaded by the MSEs. Stages of planning portal, the portal developed has the following stages for planning an activity on a location, user is allowed only step by step transition between the stages and required functionalities or modules are enabled stage wise. User has to log in with his username and password into Yuktara web page. After successful authentication of MSE user, the user is navigated to the index page of Yuktara portal. Based on the role of user the respective state and district and block and panchayat to gets explicitly selected from database. When user clicks on click here to start planning, user will navigate to another page to plan the activities in the selected panchayat. The new page loaded with the base map and selected panchayat and its boundary landscape familiarization, the offers familiarization with the landscape by means of interactive selection and visualization of multi-resolution satellite imageries and boundaries, administrative boundaries that is village, taluk and districts to the selected panchayat, infrastructure, settlements, from SysDP database, and road network, 1 to 10,000 and watersheds can be visualized under infrastructure option. Thematic datasets, datasets such as erosion, geomorphology, groundwater prospects, land degradation, land use land cover, 1 to 10,000, lineament, wasteland can be visualized on for that particular grand panchayat on the top of Bhuan base map. By visualizing these thematic datasets on Bhuan's user-friendly platform, Stakeholders can easily access and analyze spatial information, fostering participatory decision-making process to the unique needs of each Grand Panchayat. Other layers, drainage and digital elevation model, DM, layers were made for 30 meters resolution available as WMS layers upon selection of other layers option. Geotagged assets, on selection of geotagged assets both GeoMG Nariga Phase I and Phase II geotags and all IWMP geotags are rendered with their symbology on the top of Bhuan base map. Time series satellite imagery, user can select and visualize the different satellite data available for the selected GP over different time periods. User has the swipe functionality is provided to overlay the imageries and find changes in the landscape over the years. List of activities, this option provides the list of permissible works with respective symbologies, basic version, for visualizing plan contents. The list of permissible works is also available in PDF which can be downloaded or printed. Saved activity option will provide the list of saved activities by the user. When user selects the saved activity it will display on the Bhuan base map then user will be able to resume his saved activity. User can download the selected saved activity. Click on next stage to identify activity. In this stage user will identify the activity for the selected panchayat. Selection of activity is available under two broad categories either structural or plantation. This activity is assigned to a line or area treatment and also the PWL number in the subsequent steps. It can be visualized along with the respective symbologies the map. The permissible work list number, PWL number. Assigned to the selected activity in correspondence to the list given by the Ministry of Rural Development for MG Narega assets and displayed on the screen. After completion of identifying the activity MSE user has to click for next stage. Under the Identify Area Treatment major functionalities will available for the user that is Analyze, Probable Locations and Draw. Select Analyze in this stage user to select the area by drawing polygon in the selected panchayat area by clicking on the Draw EOI, Area of Interest, on the map. To analyze the area of interest to the selected panchayat user has to click on the Start Analysis button after drawing AOI. The Start Analysis tool provides the option to perform operations like buffer, intersection or union on the selected DAWI.
Buffer operation allows users to select a particular layer and specifying the size of buffer, in meters. Output layer is stored both in database and can be used for second time analysis for other OE drawn probable locations. When user selects land use land cover layer user will have the additional options i.e. legend and change class. Draw polygon or line string. In this step, the user is asked to draw a polygon or line string for representing an activity based on the user requirements and based on the analysis done on the vector data sets of a selected grand panchayat. The user can draw multiple features of polygons and line strings based on as per the requirement. These each PWL number having distinct color. After analyzing and drawing features on map the user can save it as a draft by clicking on save as draft button upon which enter sub plan name pop up is displayed. User can save the activity by giving desired sub plan name. When user clicks on the click to finish button then the polygon slash line string will display on the map with a sign color of the PWL number. Latlan search. If user wants to search with location with the latitude and longitude then user click on the Latlan search button and pop-up will be open automatically user will be enter the longitude and latitude details. Upon successful completion of area treatment the user is able to prepare a composite map for the identified activity planning and using map composition. User can select the layers to be displayed on map such as road network, drainage and settlements as well as previously saved activities by selecting the checkboxes for satellite data, settlement, drainage and earlier saved activities for map printing in the PDF format. After map composition of PDF, it can be downloaded automatically. The downloaded PDF contains the map related information. Submitting the maps for approving authority provides upload and submit action plans for approval. GAS has authorization to approve the plan activities created by the MSE. For approving plan activities GAS user has to log in into the Yuktara web portal with his username and password. Then GAS user will navigate to respected administrative boundaries that is state, district, and block. Gas user has to click on click here to approve button for approving the plan activities. In landscape familiarization user will have an additional option that is submitted activity. When user clicks on submitted activity user will see the panchayat names with checkbox. When user selects the panchayat a pop will display with plan activities with asset name, sub plan, longitude, latitude and actions to be taken that is with accept, reject and flag buttons. From the pop-up CAS user can approve or reject or flag the submitted activities under the panchayat. When CAS user rejects or flag he has to give the reason for rejection or flag mandatory in remarks column. If CAS user accepts the plan activity will displayed on the map. If CAS user rejects the MSE user will again plan the activity. If gas user flags the activity it will go for further activity. Gas user will have the two options that is verification done and save data before submitting the plan activities. After verification of all the assets that is accept or reject or flag, only the user can submit the data plan by clicking on verification done. The plan cannot be submitted if any of the assets is not verified, hence it is compulsory to verify all the assets before submitting the plan. If CAS user doesn't want to submit the data, it can be saved to submit later by clicking on Save Data button. Logout button is provided on the top right corner of the portal. Upon click the user will get logged out from the portal.